Yo, 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 big kitsch back up in here. Fantastic hip hop been dropping that fire lately, bro. Listen, man, we about to go about Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole is back friends, bro. They buddy, buddy, man. They love each other, man. We about to let them explain it, man. You know I don't like holding y'all without further ado. Let's get, get, get it. Now, as we are living within such a pivotal time in hip hop right now, as during this current moment more than ever, Lines are being drawn in the sand between which rappers and factions of hip-hop collectives will be working with and supporting one another following a period where everyone was going at it. And now most significantly, at the core of all of this, are of course what was considered the big three of hip-hop in Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole. And as we obviously know where Kendrick and Drake stand against each other, there is nothing to discover there at this point, but out of this trio, the one who has been making more and more noise with each one of his recent moves and who has been questioning people to dig for more information and put these complicated pieces together is J. Cole, because as recently, we have seen J. Cole go on a feature run where he has been working alongside rappers and producers who are directly engaged in conflict with Drake, and this is following a time where Drake did indeed talk about Cole very dismissingly on his own diss tracks this year. It's safe to say that at the very least, J. Cole and Drake are no longer longer on any sort of speaking terms and despite the run they had together in 2023 and early 2024. Drake will never work with Cole again or respect him in the same way he once did because of how he backed out of the beef they were both involved in with Kendrick Lamar. And then as a result, how this pretty much left Drake alone to fend for himself in a feud that he clearly could not handle. And with Cole, as Drake disrespected his name and his decisions that he made as a man, it's clear that Cole is staying far away from somebody whose energy pretty much projects the exact opposite of everything he stands for. And now, with Cole and Drake separated after joining forces, this leaves us with one remaining question about this trio, which is, of course, where does J. Cole stand with Kendrick Lamar? Now, well, just a few months ago, this question would have been impossible to answer, and if anything, it seemed like Kendrick Lamar hated J. Cole for linking up with Drake the way he did, and then for pretty much disrespecting him with First Person Shooter. At this point, it seems like this couldn't be further from the truth, because it doesn't just look like their tension has settled down, but it actually seems like they are on pretty good terms, and we may have even just found out that they indeed have a song coming together in the near future, but now in order to understand this, we need to first look at where Cole- Y'all let me know what y'all think. Will Kendrick Lamar do a song with J. Cole? Cole and Kendrick left off in the midst of all the musical fireworks that went off this year, because while the narrative between Kendrick and Drake was obviously very clear, with Kendrick and Cole, things have always been a lot more complicated, because as Cole was directly dissed on Like That, although he was the secondary target, and then Cole obviously dissed Kendrick back on 7 Minute Drill. They once were fully engaged in a back and forth, but now as of course J. Cole backed out of this feud when he apologized for that track and what he did. He seemingly changed the tides with this move, and at least brought his and Kendrick's relationship to a point of peace on his end. And now again, while we don't know the full story behind Cole backing out, and the only thing that's tried to clarify any of what happened is an alleged story that says that Kendrick's fellow TDE member Schoolboy Q, who indeed was at Dreamville Fest, went and told Cole that all of this is so much bigger than just him and rap, and before things went the way we all saw they eventually did, he should exit the beef. Regardless of what was behind this moment, Cole's exit obviously hit the reset button on his and Kendrick's relationship, and eventually, we got further proof that in a lot of ways it did, as when Kendrick Lamar came out and began to unravel his diss tracks on Drake. While Cole was referenced and alluded to a few times to help set the scene of all Kendrick was frustrated about and to explain why he is this angry and determined to take the crown of rap and have nobody ever be able to snatch it back from him, Cole was never actually disrespected by Kendrick lyrically, and when he dropped Not Like Us, he of course said the line, Did Cole foul? I don't know why you still pretending. And now as when this song dropped, there was just so much that made the entire world go crazy. It seems like we really forgot about this bar and brushed over it in a lot of ways, but the more we go back to it and contextualize the entire message and moment of the song, while there is no definitive answer of what this is fully alluding to, there are a lot of theories and interpretations that have went around about this bar and what it is trying to say. And no matter which theory you subscribe to, and speaking of subscribing, make sure you are to the channel while you're at it. From Kendrick's tone and just from seeing everything we have now, it's clear that at the bottom line, Kendrick is calling Drake out here for wronging J. Cole, and now whether this is referring to the way Drake turned on Cole in his own diss tracks, or this is Kendrick just referring to the position Drake put J. Cole in by trying to align himself with him closer than ever, and then as a result further from Kendrick and the spaces in hip-hop that actually should be respected in the months leading up to this beef. 
Overall, we can tell that Kendrick is calling out Drake for not respecting Cole the way he should have, considering the run that they just had together regardless of what happened in his beef with Kendrick. And at this time, as Kendrick showed that he respected J. Cole's decision on some level by just not attacking him further lyrically, and really when we look at it all just by defending him in this moment ultimately, meanwhile Drake just punched down on him in his own diss tracks and then kept mocking Cole through cryptic posts on his plot twist account later on. We see that in this complicated triad of the defining rappers of our time. Drake and J. Cole's relationship has only seemed to get more complicated and soured with each day that passes, but now with Kendrick and Cole, from when Cole apologized all the way to now. It seems like with all of the dust settling that they haven't just avoided any further conflict with one another, but that there is a clear respect that they hold mutually, because especially on Kendrick Lamar's end, if he really wanted to take Cole out and break him down for releasing a diss track on him and then taking it back, he had all of the leeway to decimate him lyrically if he wanted to. But as we saw, he clearly didn't want to do this, and when we look at the bigger picture of this beef and the scope of all of it, now looking back on all of this, it really shouldn't be a surprise that Kendrick didn't go any further on Cole. Because as we have seen over and over again, from the pop-out show to Kendrick's Black Air Force's track to the Super Bowl halftime show announcement, the goal of this beef was never to just feud with Drake and Cole for that matter to take them down for the sake of doing so, but to come at Drake in the manner he did was to take down what has become the establishment and status quo in hip-hop and the manifestation of all of the worst things we have ever seen in the genre, because as we have all witnessed and realized that at this point, Drake has done way more harm than good to rap as a whole as he has devalued the state of artistry and album making and has made the culture more gimmick and number driven than ever. For Kendrick and his mission of bringing hip hop back to a place where it's more in tune with its roots and where it's once again a space and genre that honors its artistry over anything else. Taking down Drake was not a choice, but in order for any of what he wanted to achieve for it to work and make the slightest impact possible, he had no other choice than to just humiliate him, and while Cole did get caught in the middle of all of this initially, when we look at this real goal of Kendrick's and CJ Cole, it's not hard to determine that for where Kendrick is at right now and where he is trying to bring hip hop to, it would not make any sense to destroy somebody that no matter what you can say about him, from his features which he does with artists of all sizes and from all corners of the culture just for the pure love of the sport, to his style which in of itself keeps him solidified as one of the only superstars rap has seen over the past decade who is still known for their bars and lyrical ability over anything else. When it comes to what everything Kendrick Lamar is fighting for means on the most pivotal and important level, J. Cole is one of the most vital people to this movement and one of the only other superstars left who is really honoring what Kendrick Lamar fought so hard for this year to preserve. And understanding this and being aware of the fact that Cole is now also working with people who are affiliated with Kendrick Lamar and Top Dog Entertainment with an MC like Daylight, which at the end of the day is showing us that any tension between them has vanished because otherwise, the crew and people that backed Kendrick more than anyone in this entire situation did would not go and do something that doesn't support the interests of what they just pulled off to create one of the biggest moments in all of modern music. Everything is leading to the fact that now as J. Cole unloads all of these features he's had sitting around and is getting ready for what more than ever has become the most important album of his career in the fall off, and Kendrick Lamar's new album will also be releasing sometime in the near future. As the two defining MCs of the last 15 years prepare for what has now become the most important albums of their careers and the ones that are most pivotal to not just their own legacies but rap as a whole. What would be the most powerful thing they can do, and what would be the most powerful message they could send to the rest of the hip-hop world as we walk away from this feud and process what happened would be a collaboration with one another, because more than ever, it would just mean so much for the genre and for Kendrick Lamar's mission especially, as him and Cole doing a song and celebrating rap in its most pure form would break the entire music world and once and for all, create a full circle moment that officially closes the door of hip-hop on Drake and will leave us with an image where the guy who didn't care for the art form of rap rap with the respect and love that it deserves will be shut out from everything, meanwhile the other two rappers in this situation, who represent the best and most pure parts of the genre, will never look stronger, and now while we are yet to see how this will materialize and when it will be coming, there are rumblings in the industry pointing to the fact that this is on the table, as none other than on the Rory and Mal podcast, which despite Mal being an OVO affiliate at this point, has proven that from Drake dropping push-ups to Kendrick Lamar working on a new album months before anybody knew. These guys have shown that they do have some insider information that they seem to mask as speculation for the time being, and specifically, 
On their show, they talked about Kendrick Lamar being the sole feature on the fall off. And now considering how the tides flipped between J. Cole and Drake, and he was originally supposed to be a feature on the fall off, and now seeing how the stakes of everything have changed, it really does seem like everything is pointing to the fact that we will see Cole and Kendrick do a song on this project or through something else in the near future. So all in all, it's safe to say that as Cole and Kendrick's tensions are squashed and they seem to be closer and on. I think if it if it's not on Kendrick Lamar's uh project, I think they might do something just, you know what I'm saying, just for the fans. But I think Kendrick Lamar ain't probably ain't gonna have nobody on his new project, bro. For real. But everybody was mature enough to accept the fact that the dots that dot was throwing was just all it was it was hip hop. But the sensitive Canada guy. Everybody took it, you know what I'm saying? But him. Now we got him out the way. I think, you know, everybody could be able to just come together peacefully. On better terms than they have been in years. Sometime in the near future, we will be seeing something from them that will shake the entire music world and especially hip hop in a way like we have never seen before. So now with all that said, let me know. What do you think of this prospect of Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole doing a collab together in the near future? And how do you think this would sound? And how big of a moment do you think it would be? Now, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And now, if you want to see how Drake is alienating himself from hip hop even more as he just crashed out on Kendrick Lamar yet again, check out the suggested video. Yeah, there y'all have it. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think Kendrick Lamar and uh, J. Cole could get together on a, on a, a decent, like a decent song you know what i mean i know it's gonna be a banger i know it's gonna be a banger because cole got a lot to prove right now you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think i will leave a link in the description big kiss signing out i'm gone